Welcome to AudioTubes.com. Today we're going to be looking at noise testing some 12AX7 tubes. This is our new uh, noise test fixture that we have here. It allows a um, plate supply of 150 volts in the case of the 12AX7 tube and a heater DC in of 12.6 volts DC. Uh, we can also run the tube on AC, but in the case of self-noise, we want to listen to the quietest possible input, so we're going to be feeding it DC to the filament. And it has sockets on the top for um, the twin triode 9-pin uh, 12AX7 and other tubes of that type, and uh, the 8-pin octal socket. And of course, we can select AC or DC for the heater, and we can listen to triode 1 or triode number 2. And it has an audio output here on the back, which we are feeding to uh, a very quiet tube amplifier and this oscilloscope. And we're going to take our 12AX7 tube and plug it in. And these are tubes that have all passed testing on the Hickok uh, tube testers that we have here. There's nothing wrong with any of these tubes. But when you put them on the noise test fixture, it does tell a little bit of a different story. What we're looking for ideally, and this is not a fancy scope, this is actually just a 20 megahertz old B&K scope, and we're running it... Um, Oh, about one millisecond for the sweep speed and about uh, at 20 um, millivolts per division. And we're looking for about 40 millivolts total of noise. When the tube is tapped, as you can see, the trace jumps a little bit, but the peak to peak value should go no higher than 40 millivolts, in which this one does. And we can flip over to triode two and see the same thing and I'll turn the volume up on the amp and there's very little sound from the tube we have a little bit of hum component coming because we're uh, this device is giving us such a large degree of amplification so this is a nice quiet tube by comparison we have another tube which is also a general electric same make long plate but this one is actually rather noisy so we'll plug it in and let it warm up. Uh, usually the warm up is indicated by a slight DC bounce of the trace on the scope. Uh, there it goes. So the tube is warmed up. We're going to turn up the audio and tap and that triode's not too bad. This triode's extremely noisy. As you can hear, the tapping clearly through the loudspeakers of the amplifier you can see the sawtooth ripples that die away on the trace plus the initial tapping of the pencil causes the trace to jump completely off of the screen so this tube is extremely microphonic we can also spot tubes that exhibit uh, issues such as noise uh, this one here I believe had some residual noise it wasn't necessarily microphonic but it was noisy again this fixture is amplifying the tube at about the highest degree of amplification it can possibly go and as you can see in here we've got distortion in this in the uh, waveform tapping is causing the trace to jump almost off the screen we have a high degree of noise microphonics here very high level of uh, disturbance when we hit it with the pencil the channels are hissing crackling and again these are types of things that you would never see on a tube tester uh, another tube here that is slightly microphonic this one is a 12 AT7 and we'll let it warm up just a moment And there it's starting to move a little bit. Okay, turn up the volume on that. That one's actually quite quiet there, that triode. And you can see the pulses are going no higher than plus 20 and minus 20 millivolts. This channel has got the a little sawtooth ripple after I tap it, which indicates uh, microphonics. The tube is ringing when we tap it. So this would be a reject tube as well. 
Not surprisingly, the better grades of new old stock tubes uh, were the quietest, this one being a Telefunk and rib plate. One of the tubes that we used to, um, as a standard for our measurements of what would be good, although uh, just about any tube, for example, this uh, General Electric long plate 12AX7 is also very quiet. We found that just about any tube, if you search enough through them on the noise tester, you can find a quiet one. Although significantly the Telefunken and the better grades of European tubes, a greater number of them were quiet to begin with. This one is also very quiet. The tap pulses are only about plus or minus 20 millivolts, maybe even a little bit less. Triode 2 is even quieter. So that would be a good example of a very low noise, low microphonics tube. Thank you for listening. We uh, hope you will uh, give us a call at 847-496-4546 so we can do some noise testing for the tubes of your choice. Thank you again.